Hi there, and welcome to my channel. My name is Shireen, and I'm here to help you sound more natural and feel more confident when you communicate in English. In today's video, we are going to go over some super common reductions, and they are gonna, wanna, gotta, has to, and have to. And you might have learned about these already, but I suggest you stick around because I'm going to go over some super common mistakes that I hear people making with these reductions. So let's get started. I firmly believe that it is not that important that you implement these into your own speech. It's not necessary. Of course, if you do use them, it will help you to sound more natural. However, it's perfectly fine if you don't make reductions when you speak in English. But the reason why you should learn them is because native speakers almost always use them. In fact, I'm willing to say that they always use them. So if you're not familiar with them, it might make it a little bit difficult for you to understand native speakers. So learning about reductions is super helpful if you have difficulty understanding native speakers or want to improve your listening skills. If you want to be able to understand fast speech, then this is one of the things that you need to learn about. The next thing that I quickly want to talk to you about is whether these are informal or formal. And you're probably like, I know that these are informal. And you're right, they are. Gonna, wanna, has to, have to, gotta are all informal. But just because they are informal, that doesn't mean that you're not going to hear them used everywhere, regardless of whether the situation is formal or informal. This is just English. So what exactly do I mean? Now, you'll see gonna and wanna and gotta in written English, but pretty much only like in texts or on a Facebook comments, you're not going to write this in an email to someone. This is something between friends, it's super informal. But you are going to hear it in spoken English in all contexts, whether it's in the office or at work, or sometimes even in a meeting, you will hear this used. And what it comes down to is that it's not a case of informal or formal. It's that we want to speak fast. And when we speak fast, it comes out as gonna and not going to. So are you going to hear this used by all different kinds of people? Yes. Are you going to hear this used almost everywhere? in every situation? Yes. Listen to this sentence. I've got to go to the store later. I've got to go to the store later. That was really clear and easy to understand, right? But what you would probably hear a native English speaker say, and this tends to be more American, is I got to go to the store later. I got to go to the store later. Did you hear what happened there? All of my words got smushed together and it became I gotta, I gotta, gotta, not I've got to, I gotta. So this is one way that we speak faster. And like I said, it's not something that you need to use when you speak, but you're definitely going to need to be able to understand this. I gotta go to the store later. I gotta go to the store later. I advise you to try repeating after me. This will really help you to get a better understanding of what happens when I speak English. Now, remember, I told you we were going to go over some common mistakes and some things that are confusing. You've just learned that I gotta means I've got to. But gotta can also mean got a. So I got a new car. I got a new car. That's not I've got to. That's I got a 
new car, meaning I have a new car. And it would also mean I just bought a new car. I got a new car. And they are pronounced exactly the same. So got a becomes gotta, gotta, and have got a becomes gotta. The next one is have to. I have to get this done. I have to get this done. Notice how the V becomes a f. I have to get this done. But if I start to speak faster, I would reduce this to have to. So have to becomes have to. I have to get this done. I have to get this done. And you've definitely learned how to conjugate the verb have, right? I have, they have, we have, but she, he has. So when we reduce has, what's going to happen? He has to get this done. He has to get this done. Has to is going to become has to. He has to get this done. He has to get this done. And this is one of those mistakes that I hear commonly. Make sure that you are still conjugating the verb when you're using this reduction. She has to, I have to. Okay? The next one is want to. I want to buy a new car. I want to buy a new car. And when we reduce this, it becomes wanna. I wanna buy a new car. I wanna buy a new car. And the same conjugation issue exists with this one. Make sure that you are saying wanna and wants to. Wants to. He wants to buy a new car. He wants to buy a new car. I know this is tricky. You're like, I even have to learn to conjugate the informal reductions. But yes, you do. And now let's look at going to. Going to becomes gonna when we reduce it. So I'm going to buy a new car. I'm going to buy a new car. I'm gonna buy a new car. I'm gonna buy a new car. And with this one, the common mistake that I hear is people omitting is, am, are. You have to include this. So I'm gonna buy a new car. He's gonna buy a new car. She's gonna buy a new car. They're gonna buy a new car. We're gonna buy a new car. Don't leave it out. Don't say we gonna buy a new car. You have to have the is, am, are. I also want to mention to you that you'll hear a bunch of them smushed together. So I'm gonna have to buy a new car. I'm gonna have to buy a new car. I'm going to have to buy a new car. I'm gonna have to buy a new car. I'm gonna have to buy a new car. And I know some of you are going to ask me what that means. I'm going to have to buy a new car. It implies that something is wrong with my car. It's broken, so I'm going to have to buy a new car. I need to buy a new car because something is wrong with my car. Just to give you another example, I forgot my phone at work. I'm gonna have to go back and get it. I'm gonna have to go back and get it. Now, let's do a short quiz together. I'm going to say a few sentences for you. You are going to use your listening skills and what you know about reductions to see if you can understand what I'm saying. I'm going to have to prepare for that meeting. I'm going to have to prepare for that meeting. I'm going to have to prepare for that meeting. She wants to meet us after work. She wants to meet us after work. She wants to meet us after work. He's got to get organized before he leaves. He's got to get organized before he leaves. He's got to get organized before he leaves. Does she have to book an appointment before she arrives? Does she have to book an appointment before she arrives? 
Does she have to book an appointment before she arrives? I want to know, how did you do on the quiz? Let me know in the comments. Was it easy for you? How many did you get right? Thank you so much for learning with me today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also find me on Instagram. I post lots of learning content over there. My handle is at an English nerd. I will see you next time. Bye.